if the it, okay because the person I am seeing the 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 most obvious shaped. I know Oda is not perfect with silhouettes. Sometimes silhouettes and reality are different, but this is Shanks. This is the exact silhouette of Shanks that we expected to see. Now, either he is Shanks himself, which proves Shanks is the strongest and the final knight of gods, which means Shanks will be the person who represents gods in the final battle of One Piece, which means Shanks is the antagonist of One Piece, which means Shanks is the strongest character since the days of Joy Boy himself. This means Imu Sama is not a fighter and she or he, most likely she, will have Shanks fighting her battle for her. If it's gonna be a brother or a cousin or a father, I don't think he's a mother, if it's gonna be related to Shanks, they better have a, they better give him an entire fucking arc to cover this. This means Imu is no longer a fighter. But this also means that the world government are as a strong as... Look, if they have three admirals. They have Kong, they have Sengoku, they have Garp, they have Tesseru. They have, uh, as far as we know, three, four uh, Seraphims. And they have ten Holy Knight. Again, true, this might not be Shanks, but this is not... This is Oda. This is Oda. If, if, if he's trying to give us some ideas that this is Shanks, this is similar to Shanks, it definitely needs to be something similar. Shanks is the final god knight. Okay, Shanks is antagonist. Shanks is the final weapon of world government. Maybe because she's the son of Imu. Maybe Imu is the mother, Rox is the father, as I suspected a long freaking time ago. What if Shanks and his crew are the God Knights? What if red hair pirates are the God Knights? With Shanks being the leading one. Shanks, Beckman, Lou, Yasop, Lime Juice, Bonk Punch, Building Snake, Hongo, and Gap. What if the God Knights are in fact the Red Hair Pirates. Nine member of Red Hair Pirates. Nine member of God Knights. With both of them being led by the same person who has the same silhouette of Shanks. Because this is the same even sword from the right side. This is not from the left. As you can see, it's from the right side, just like Shanks. Same cape as Shanks. And I think that God's Knights are the most important part of the chapter. And I won't be shocked, if, if, even if that's not Shanks, I won't be shocked if the collective power of God Knights be equal or slightly bigger than the collective power of Admirals. And again, Admirals are the strongest active fighters of the world government. So inactive people, such as these gentlemen, are safe. Shanks being a villain, Shanks being a antagonist, narratively speaking, is a smart choice. Because Shanks fighting with, Lu with Luffy creates a level of tension and emotion that Kaido could never present to us. There was not a single emotional punch in the entire arc of Wano, even when Yamato fought Kaido. There was no emotion. There was just characters fighting each other. Narratively and storytelling wise, there was no artistic value to Kaido versus Luffy. Nothing, maybe visual. The only artistic part was visual. But if you were written down Kaido and Luffy in a, in a book, there was literally no artistic value to it. Instead of Perhaps a moment like Luffy trying to march in to save Ace and he has to face with Garp. That single punch had more artistic endeavor behind it than entire Wano fight. No connection whatsoever. Shanks fighting with Luffy is a Hamlet level dilemma for Luffy. Shanks choosing a side between his father and Shanks is a very artistic 
and great and damaging point of view. If Oda want to be a good artist, he would make Shanks antagonist at some level. At some level. Because Shanks is too good. If Shanks dies right now, fuck him. He's a Mary Sue. He's a Gary Sue, I'm sorry. Literally fuck him. No character has the right to be that good. No character. He needs to give us some darker side. But if Oda wants to be a person who sells manga and a person who fear damaging the audience too much, antagonizing the audience, he will not make Shanks a villain. Because it's one thing to hurt them, like killing Corazon or killing Ace or Whitebeard, it broke my heart. I'm yelling too much, am I? aren't I? It, it, it just, it broke us. If you, if anybody watch One Piece and never cry, I definitely would ask them to go see a therapist. Because One Piece has this capability of making you cry. But making a good guy bad guys will antagonize the audience against the writer. And the story needs to be that good to convince all of us that this was the right decision. So it takes literal big juicy iron diamond balls to make Shanks an antagonist. I don't know if Oda's want to take that risk, but he is walking into that direction.